So one side, uh, on the one side, we will have uh, uh, one ver one variable. Say a we end two. So for a we have two cases. Uh, zero and one. Then uh, uh, here we have uh, B C. So and for B C we have uh, four cases. To be zero one, uh, one one, one zero, and zero zero. And the point that, uh, uh, as I said before, uh, it's very crucial to have uh, this kind of uh, how's it called? Uh, this kind of sequence uh, for for cases of the variables and it will be clear why we need that uh, when I describe grouping in uh, Karnoma technique uh, but uh, first and but now I will say just that the uh, you need to set uh, the uh, sequence of, of possible variables in case there are more than one more like here like in case of a uh, so that every next uh, item in the sequence is different uh, only by one digit for example if we have if we start with zero one then uh, next uh, item in the sequence will be could be either zero zero or it could be one one the point is to, to change next uh, item in, in the sequence of uh, uh, cases only once because uh, for example you know we, uh, we used to have these sequences like zero one then one zero uh, then one one then zero zero this sequence will not work here uh, it's important to have so that uh, next item in the sequence has only one different digit. For example, here uh, we have both this one changed and this one changed. That means that for Karnoma it's a bad sequence. Mm, so the good sequence would be only one changed. It would be zero one, then it could be like here, like here one one, then another changed one zero, and last one zero zero. And these sequences are called uh, uh, gray. And these sequences are called uh, gray code. Also, uh, some guy. Uh, y you can look up it in Wikipedia if you want, but it's not uh, not very important. Uh, the most important things about that uh, I will describe uh, when I describe grouping. But the point is. Uh, when you try to create a two-dimensional uh, Carnot map, you put cases of variables in gray code sequence. That is, that only one uh, variable changes at a time, like in this sequence. Like here, changed. Uh, here you can see that only. So we know that it's uh, actually BC. And we know that here uh, zero changed, and this remained, and here one changed to zero, and this one remained, and here this one changed to zero, and C remained. So, for example, as the opposite, this is not a valid sequence for uh, for kernel map because it's not. Uh, gray code because you see for example uh, here we changed uh, three, uh, three three uh, value cases at a time so that's not appropriate why I will tell you later it's uh, it is important it will be important on uh, on grouping to be exact it will be important on the grouping stage 
so and uh, as you see uh, already now I grouped uh, mm, I grouped uh, uh, this uh, these variables ABC in uh, in such manner that we have a on the left side and BC on the right side for example in the previous case we had only uh, so what what was I do, was what I telling? Uh, I was telling that uh, when we have only two variables b and a, uh, the two-dimensional map is very easy to get uh, because one uh, for the for example for the columns we take one variable and for the rows we take another variable. Uh, but uh, if uh, if we have more than two variables. Uh, then it's uh, it's a bit uh, harder to represent uh, uh, all the cases in two dimensions. For example, uh, you can you could might could do that in three dimensions, uh, but for example, like this, uh, it will be something funny to do, but not practically useful. You could make uh, uh, such a three-dimensional structure. Where one on one axis there would be A, on another axis there would be B, cases for B, and on the third axis cases for C, and it would be such a such a structure, more or less uh, like this, for example. But it's hard to uh, to use it on paper and to draw it. And for example, this for A we have cases 0 and 1. For C we have cases uh, also 0 and 1. For B we have cases uh, also 0 and 1. But it's ah, it's 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 a mess. It will, ah, it's not a mess, but it's yeah, right now it's really messy. But anyway, uh, we are so used for two-dimensional data so that we will not play with three-dimensional tables. That's why we actually use uh, two-dimensional maps, even though the number of uh, variables are bigger than two. But what, what we do, if the, if the number of variables is bigger than two, then we just uh, put uh, uh, multiply cases on, the, on one of the uh, either on the rows or on the columns. For example, in this case we decided to put a BC together, but a, a, as well we could uh, create another uh, kernel map. It will be absolutely equivalent to this one. Uh, it could be like this, say AB, and we have uh, one, two, three, four, four columns, and we have uh, C here. We could uh, make uh, such a map as well. It doesn't matter at all. The sequence matter, but it's the same. But the point is, you can make either uh, you can make maps whatever you want. For example, if you have uh, lots of variables, uh, let's say if you have uh, six variables, you can make. Uh, uh, Kernel map, for example, three by three, uh, it would be like A, B, C on one side, uh, D, D, E, F on the other side. If you have uh, other number of variables, you can make, uh, let's say you have five, then you can make uh, A, B, C on one side, D, E on the other side. But as well, you could make uh, some different tables. Like if you still have uh, A, B, C, D, E five variables, you could make uh, A on one side and B, C, D, E on another side. It just doesn't matter at all. It's uh, uh, it's how you like it. Doesn't matter. 
So, but uh, let's, let's uh, here we have three variables, let's fill out uh, one of these truth tables, uh, one of these kernel maps. So, first of all, we have uh, 0, 0, 1. We have case right here, the result was 0. Then 0, 1, 1. In this case, the result 1. Once, uh, 0, 1, 0. Here we have 0, 1, 0. Result was 1. Then we have 0, 0, 0. Like here, the result was also 1. Next, uh, 1, 0, 1. 1, 0, 1 we have right here. 1, 0, 1. The result was 1. Then next, uh, 1, 1, 1. As here, the result was 1. Then uh, 1, 1, 0. Uh, 1, 1, 0 right here. The result is 1. And 1, 0, 0. The result is also 1. We might as well fill uh, this table if you want. It doesn't matter. It, it's, it will have the same functionality and the same use. So it will, it's just another representation. So it's 0, uh, 0, 1, 0 is... Ah, I just don't want to bother you with that. It's just the same. It would be just the same. So actually now we did... Uh, we repeated first two steps uh, for this expression right here. Uh, yeah, and uh, I'm pretty pretty happy with that. And afterwards, we will uh, uh, make some other steps, steps three and four. Let's do it.